Hello and welcome to the DSP Project, the weekly show about music production and technology. I am your host, Rupert Brown. This week I want to answer quite a few questions that I've had regarding LED feedback on the launch pad and how it works. So I'm going to quickly take you through how to set it up, um, what it does and what you can do with it. So uh, let's get started. I have a instance of the drum rack loaded up here. I've just got three simple sounds, kick, snare, hi-hat. And as you can see, we've got no feedback. We're in, we're in user one mode, by the way, in case you missed that. That's where we uh, do our usual drum rack business. Um, so let's start with the basics and get some um, feedback happening here. If I push Command Shift T, opens up a new MIDI channel. And I want to select the audio, um, sorry, the MIDI from the drum rack. So the MIDI information with the that's coming into the drum rack is now going to come into this MIDI channel as well. We want to monitor the incoming MIDI, so the, the MIDI coming in, and we want the MIDI to go out to the launch pad. So we want to s carry that information and send it on to the launch pad. So now, if I've done that right, we get some, some light feedback. So that's all, that's all uh, good and well. And if we had a, um, if you had a, a pattern in there, uh, some hi hats, for instance, you would get the uh, get some get some feedback happening. That's that's your basic feedback. Uh, next up, uh, metronome. So if we I'm going to push Command T to create a new track, Command R to rename it. I'm going to call it Met, and I want the audio, sorry, the MIDI in this channel to go to the the launch pad also. I'm going to create a new clip. And I'm going to arm it. I let's say I want uh, this this top corner here to um, to be my to be my metronome. Uh, I want to find that note. So I'm just going to. You see, when I hover over here, I get a magnifying glass. So I click and drag this to the left. It zooms out. I just keep zooming out until I see boom, this little red bar here, and this shows me the note that I'm pressing. Uh, click and drag to the right to zoom back in. So I know. Okay, that's that's the note I want. Very good. Highlight that. Command D four times and that in theory okay, should, okay, no, no, <laughs> that horrible pattern off okay so now that gives us uh, this little blinking guy at the top here so that gives us some visual indication of the beat to help us um, mash our buttons in good timings now to let's say we, we might want to distinguish the the downbeat the first hit of the bar so uh, what i've noticed is the velocity actually changes the the color of the light as well so uh, underneath the the notes here we've got these little sliders and these basically here control the um control the the color of the uh, of the light so if i drag it down that's a pretty crap color Try to find something a bit more interesting. Okay, so you see, got a red one there. So on every downbeat, we get a, a red LED and orange LEDs on the the other hits. So that gives us a bit more information. Uh, of course, if we wanted to drag this this out, maybe have it over four buttons. If we're willing to f spare four buttons and get a bit more information, uh, I think if I drag these down, yeah, oh. if I drag these down. We should get okay. So now we've got a, a little four a four bar ditty happening along the top there. Um, so give, again, gives us a bit more information as to where we are in the bar. So that's all good. Now uh, elaborating on the color thing a bit further. If we come back to our our drum rack here, I'm going to arm this and select it. If I use a, a MIDI effect called velocity and drag and drop this drag and drop this at the front of the drum rack basically what the velocity um, device does is it takes MIDI data coming in and it allows you to change the basically change the velocity of that note and there's there's a bunch of parameters you can change here but long story short if we um, control the out high which it, it will sort of cap the uh, the top of the velocity note and because it's uh, one hit, these aren't velocity sensitive pads, you're getting 127 velocity hit anyway. So what that means is as I step down, I'm going to use my arrow keys here and you can see that I'm stepping down in, in one 
uh, hit increments, it will actually change the color. So if I um, just throw another clip in here, and let's make a, uh, let's say, let's say yes, another four bar duff duff. Okay, so you can see we've got green happening here, kind of a yellowy green. Um, if I highlight you know, this high out, and now as I step down through the values, you can see the uh, the light here is changing color. Um, doesn't have a uh, a huge impact other than you might want to either a distinguish between different MIDI channels. So I might have uh, a particular velocity I use for the metronome, and then a different velocity for my my drum rack. And that way, if I've got quite a few few notes lighting up with the drum rack, I can kind of visually see, okay, my metronome's in green and my drum rack's in red, let's say. Um, and so it just lets you pick a, a custom color, which is, which is kind of cool. Um, that is probably about it for the, for the light feedback. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. So there you go. As always, if you have any questions about this tutorial, uh, you can head down to the dspproject.com and leave a comment directly underneath this video, and I will try and answer it as best as I can. Um, as well as while you're there, if you want to subscribe, that helps us out and is most appreciated. Um, we do have a, a big special series on monitors coming up, buying monitors, placing monitors. Uh, we're going to cover all that stuff, but if you do have any specific questions, feel free to email me inbox at the dspproject.com and it may get included in that series. That's about all we've got time for this week. I'll see you next week.